while. The work to figure out how this happened is just beginning. CBS 17 investigative reporter Mary Smith continues our live team coverage at RDU after speaking with aviation experts on crash prevention systems. Mary. Yeah, the main system used on planes is TCAS. That's the traffic collision avoidance system, but it works differently at different altitudes. Flight track radar shows the path the CRJ 700 American Eagle plane took Wednesday night before it collided with a Black Hawk helicopter. We asked airline pilot Ross Kaplan about collision avoidance systems and technology on commercial planes. He says the main tool used the TCAS system. All U.S. airline aircraft are equipped with it, um, although the capabilities may vary from aircraft to aircraft. However, RA alerts, also known as resolution advisories to climb or descend, are inhibited at certain altitudes depending on the plane. And he says when a plane is below 500 feet, most TCAS systems will not give an audible traffic warning. You could still see it on your screen. You could still see traffic around your own airplane. It just won't warn you about it because you should be focused on landing at that point. But that's only if the other aircraft has a transponder. It's believed Wednesday the two aircraft were just a few hundred feet from the ground when they collided. Other than TCAS, Kaplan says the next big resource for pilots is air traffic control. He says air traffic controllers will give a command using the word immediately in urgent situations. The word immediately in a clearance from a controller uh, really grabs our attention. And so they'll, they'll usually say something like that if there's an imminent threat. He says one more thing to consider is just how busy the area is around DCA. The investigation into this is just beginning. We're live in Raleigh. Mary Smith, CBS 17 News. All right, Mary, thanks so much.